4th of July. Fred and I just got in the car and we are gonna take a little road trip for the weekend. Babe, would you like to tell everyone what we're gonna do, where we're going? Yeah, we headed over to Key West, but before that, we'll be making a stop uh, somewhere where one of my friends, my business partners told me that we should check it out along the way. So we're looking forward to stopping there and we've got another bite to eat. Yeah, we're gonna stop in um, Isla Morada, which is about halfway. The drive down to Key West is from where we live, um, about four hours, give or take traffic, being that it's a holiday weekend. Um, there definitely may be more traffic than normal. So we'll see, but we're not in a hurry. So we're just gonna enjoy the drive. Fred loves to make this drive because it's very pretty. Um, I'll definitely include some clips here soon of um, how, how beautiful the drive is. And um, yeah, so here we go. is our very first stop on our drive down to Key West. We're here at Robbie's in Isla Morada. This was the place that was recommended and we're gonna go check it out and see what they have. So in this part of Robbie's is where you can pay to get a bucket of fish and as you can see these people doing you can actually feed the tarpons they're laying over on the side of the deck uh, on the dock excuse me and uh, they're holding the fish out waiting for the tarpons to jump up and grab the food it's a little hot outside today so we decided not to oh that <laughs> so within Robbie's at Isla Mirada they have a restaurant and it's called the Hungry Tarpon so we stopped in to get some food first we started with this trailer trash Bloody Mary as you can see it pretty much has everything but the kitchen sink and I'm very excited to try it oh that is a good Bloody Mary we also ordered a couple appetizers so we got the conch ceviche. If you don't know what conch is, it's actually um, a type of fish that is really um, prevalent in the Caribbean. It comes in like a large shell. A lot of people, you've probably seen this shell if you've never actually had the fish. So we've never had conch ceviche and wanted to give that a try. And then our waitress also recommended the smoked fish dip. It looks like there may be different types of fish here, but you know what, I'm not sure. So I'll have to double check with her and see. Um, I can leave that down in the description box below. But let's see the appetizers that we ordered. So we're about to get to grubbing. So the entrees just showed up. Fred got the blackened shrimp quesadillas. It does come with a side of guacamole and salsa. And then I got the blackened mahi tacos, which comes with a side of rice and black beans. Are you ready to chow down? <laughs> So guys, we finally made it to Key West. We um, took a little bit of time at our hotel to kind of relax, get settled in, and now we are about to go to dinner. I made a reservation at this place called Cafe Soleil, and it is a French Caribbean restaurant. I actually found it on Instagram, so I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be getting into, but I'm very excited. Um, we are here in Key West for the weekend. We um, got out of Miami because we really couldn't go to the beach, and so we thought we would come here for the weekend. Um, so far it's pretty been quiet and chill, I'd say. We still have a whole lot of people here, which is great, but don't worry, we still have a mess. So anyways, now we are going to head to dinner. The 
since we had such a big lunch today, we decided to go with something a little bit lighter for dinner this evening. Fred and I are actually splitting the hogfish snapper. It's pan seared in a puddle of roasted bell pepper hollandaise, and it's served with some of the traditional sides. She said um, mashed potatoes, carrots, white beans, rice, and then vegetables as well. It smells amazing, and I'm really excited to try this. So guys, it's day two, it is Sunday now, July the 5th, and we are still in Key West. Um, today is actually really exciting because we have booked a seaplane um, to head out to Dry Tortuga National Park. It's about um, 70 miles west of Key West. Um, you can go there by ferry or by seaplane. We opted for the seaplane. We've taken lots of ferries before in other places, but we've never done a seaplane. So Fred and I are really excited for this. Um, we are about to head to the airport now and meet up with uh, our, our pilot, I guess you'd say, and head that way. So stay tuned. Well, here we are on my seaplane. Just kidding, it's not mine. But this is the plane that we just took in to Dry Tortuga. And uh, we are going to probably head inside of Fort Jefferson, check that out. We're also probably gonna try to get some snorkeling today. Um, there are a little bit of thunderstorms in the area, but we're hopeful that the weather will cooperate and um, hopefully we can get some good views, fish. What else did he say? There's plenty of birds around, which means there's definitely plenty of fish in the water. Um, maybe we can even find some coral reef and yeah, let's go guys.
have a super fun-filled day out in the Dry Tortugas today. Came back to the hotel, rested for a little while. Now you know what time it is. One of my favorite times of the day, dinner time. We are at a place called the Stoned Crab. I actually just found it on Open Table. Um, also, if you're not familiar with the Open Table app, check it out because it's legit. So Fred and I both ordered steamers. Um, is what they call them. Kind of similar to um, what is that place called? They have like the boils, the crab boils, and they have crab and shrimp with potatoes and corn and all of that. So this is like their version of that that they call a steamer. So. Are you ready, honey? I'm ready, baby. Ooh, yes. So mine has snow crab, stone crab, and Key West pink shrimp. And then as you can see, it does have the potatoes in there. I don't see corn, but I'm sure it's hiding underneath there somewhere. And it smells phenomenal. I actually got mine with the Old Bay seasoning, so I'm about to grow up. Oh. And then this is Fred's. Look because, at that. Because he is so extra, he had to get a lobster. Because you know how he does. Ooh, lobster <laughs> for days, babe. Uh, that looks so good. All right, well, time to go, guys. We gotta go uh, take care of this food. Yeah, a lot to take care of. Thanks, babe. All right, guys, it is our last day in Key West. Um, it is now Monday, July the 6th. Um, we are packed up, checked out of the hotel, and we are probably gonna drive down to like downtown Key West area. Um, just kind of see what's going on down there, if there's anything we missed that we need to stop and photograph. Um, we are probably gonna stop by the southernmost point, um, get a photo there. We do have photos from there, but it's just a nostalgic place that's so always fun to get a new photo from each trip. So we're gonna go there and then we are going to um, make the drive back home. Um, we're probably gonna stop again halfway or somewhere in between. We're not exactly sure yet, um, but we probably will stop somewhere along the drive and grab some food, maybe a drink, just kind of hang out. We're once again, not really in a hurry. So we're just kind of enjoying the drive. Honey, any words? No, you said it all, but it's been a great trip. Uh, we're gonna make the most of the last time we have here. I think stopping by one of those places along the route, going back up home, is gonna be a good way to cap it off. And we're looking forward to it. Yeah, also I just wanted to mention real fast that uh, where we left off last night was dinner. And um, the place that we were eating at was called the Stoned Crab. Stoned Crab, yeah. Um, after further review, we definitely do not recommend that place. Um, the food ended up not being great. It actually looked even a little dry. Um, Fred's lobster especially was just not the best prepared. We had a lot of those like crab boils, shrimp boils, whatever you want to call them. And so this wasn't our first rodeo. and We've had a lot of things to compare it to. And we were just kind of underwhelmed with the quality of the food and also just overall like the service. So we just wanted to mention that as well, that although we were like kind of not hyping it up, but you know, we were excited because it looked good and we were really hungry. It had been a long day and we love like shrimp crab boils. So we were really excited. But upon further review, we just wanted to note that. Absolutely, we definitely... <laughs> do not go there. I cannot stress that enough. Do not go to that restaurant. <laughs> yeah. So... We're not gonna go into the details. Just don't go there. Yeah, but anyways, so. See you guys soon.
we're starting to get a little hungry. I did mention we thought we were probably gonna stop somewhere. Um, we did actually have a place picked, but we went there and they were not open. I'm not sure if it's due to COVID or what exactly, because on Google Maps it did say it was open. Um, so anyways, we decided to improvise and now we are at Sun Downers here in Key Largo. Ironically enough, when we drove up, we realized that we recognized the place and it's because we've actually been here before on one of our drives with my mom and her boyfriend. Um, so we decided to come in again and so far we have ordered these wings which were the um, sticky citrus I believe is what it was called um, we originally wanted to order oysters and they said that they ran out and our backup to that was conch fritters which they unfortunately were also out of so this was our third option however we're excited to dig in and we did just order our entrees um, we both ordered fish but Stay tuned for that. So as I said, Fred and I both ordered fish. Today I did the blackened mahi and they had an option of a sauce. So I did the key lime caper sauce. It also came with a side of steamed broccoli and then you got to choose your starch. So I did the chili lime tater tots. It smells delicious, I'm very excited. Fred got the blackened yellowtail, and the sauce he chose is the pineapple rum glaze. His also came with the broccoli, and then he chose to just get fries with his. So, now it's time to grub. We just had a slice of key lime pie to end our lunch here at Sundowners in Key Largo. Of course, no trip to Key West or to the Florida Keys would be complete without it. It was the perfect end to our weekend here in Keys. We really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please make sure to like this video and also hit the subscribe button. We are new here to the YouTube community, so we do really appreciate you guys following along. Hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, we'll see you guys soon.